Hello everyone, welcome to 10 Minute Physiology. In today's video, I'm going to give you a short explanation as to what smooth muscle action potentials are. So with that, let's give it a go. So I'd like to start off by first describing to you the three types of action potentials that smooth muscles can do. So there are three types of action potentials in smooth muscles. And the first one is called the spike action potential. So the spike action potential looks like this, and it takes place over around 100 milliseconds. Now this type of action potential is going to be similar to the action potential seen in skeletal muscle. The second type of action potential that can be seen in smooth muscle is going to be the plateau action potential. So the plateau action potential looks like this, and it's going to take around 400 milliseconds to complete. And then the last action potential is something called the slow waves action potential. So it looks something like this. And this type of action potential is going to occur at the time scale of seconds. So it takes the longest amount of time to complete. And it also may be spontaneous as well. So we're going to look at all three of these in more detail. But in this video, we're primarily going to focus on the slow wave action potential. So with that, let's keep going. So let's first talk about the general properties of all three. So remember, in all three action potentials, we had an upstroke or depolarization. Now this depolarization is going to involve the opening of L-type calcium channels. So remember, L-type calcium channels in the plasma membrane open in response to depolarization. And when they do this, they allow calcium to flow into the cell, which depolarizes the cell. Now, these L-type calcium channels are involved with a positive feedback cycle. So what does this mean? This means that when you have an initial depolarization, this causes the opening of voltage-gated calcium channels. The opening of voltage-gated calcium channels will allow calcium to flow into the cell. This will cause an increase in the amount of calcium and therefore depolarization and this depolarization will open more voltage-gated calcium channels. So you have this positive feedback cycle that is occurring inside the smooth muscle cells. Another general property of all three action potentials is that you had that repolarization phase, and that is primarily going to be governed by the opening of potassium channels. So remember, for potassium channels, you have depolarization, which opens them, this allows potassium to flow out of the cell and negative charge to build up inside the cell, which therefore leads to hyperpolarization. Now, some other general properties of all three include the following. So the first thing is that the rate of depolarization in smooth muscle is going to be slower than the rate of depolarization seen in skeletal and cardiac muscle. What we also see is that the repolarization of smooth muscle is also slower than these two types of muscle. And the reason why has to do with the fact that the L-type calcium channels are opened for longer periods of time. They also uh, inactivate more slowly, and there's also a delayed opening of potassium channels. All three of these things play a role as to why these types of action potentials are slower than the action potentials seen in skeletal and cardiac muscle. So another thing to note is that the repolarization phase can actually be so slow that some smooth muscles can actually have the plateau action potential, which we saw. And the plateau action potential is actually very important because it's going to be used for prolonged contractions. So those are the general properties of all three action potentials. So now what we're going to do is we're going to focus mainly on the slow wave action potential. So we're going to talk about the properties of it and the different parts of it and why this graph looks the way it does. So in order to understand that, we have a computer and two computers are connected together. This computer is showing the slow wave action potential. And this computer right here is going to be showing the cell at different points of the action potential. So let's take a look. So at the first step right here, what happens is, is that the cell starts off at this depolarized state. 
And in this relatively depolarized state, what's going to happen is that the depolarization, the initial depolarization, is going to open the calcium channels. This will allow calcium to flow into the cell and therefore increase the calcium concentration. Now, as the calcium concentration increases, this causes the upstroke that we see in the action potential. And this upstroke is the depolarization produced by the increase in calcium. So then at the next phase, what happens is, is that when we get to here, the calcium concentration is very high. And since it's very high, the calcium is going to bind to the potassium channel because it's a calcium-dependent potassium channel, and it's going to open it. And when this happens, potassium flows out of the cell, and it causes a slow repolarization. So this repolarization is very slow, as you saw here. Now, at this point, what happens is, is that when the cell starts to repolarize or hyperpolarize, the calcium channel will close. And when it does this, the calcium will stop entering the cell and the calcium concentration inside the cell will decrease. And as the concentration of calcium decreases, the calcium will unbind itself from the potassium channel, which will cause the potassium channel to close. And when the potassium channel closes, it, potassium stops leaving the cell, and then this therefore causes a slow depolarization back up to the original starting point, and then we start the process all over again. So in summary, we talked about how smooth muscle can have three types of action potentials, and we also talked about the common themes shared by all three, and then we also talked about the steps in slow wave action potentials. So I hope this video helped you understand the smooth muscle action potentials, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.